The Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary. Maury Amsterdam. Larry Matthews. And Mary Tyler Moore. suitcase? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, fine. You sure you won't be needing it? No, I'm not planning any getaways for a while. Good. Now, Rob, I'll be at that dental convention for four days, but as soon as I get back, you gotta come in and let me work on those teeth of yours. You've been putting it off long enough. Well, it was in six months ago. It's been a year. Has it been that long? It's been that long. Well, don't worry. I think my teeth will hang on to you get back anyway. I don't even need any work. Let me be the judge of that. You may have grown them, but those teeth in your head belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take good care of your teeth. Have a good time in the convention. Oh, I'm not going for a good time. I'm going to listen to a lecture on prosthetics and find out what's new in dentistry this year. Why, that's very dedicated of you, doctor. Well, how do you think I got to be the best dentist in the world? <laughs> You know something you're always saying that. How do you figure that you're the best dentist in the whole world? Simple logic. I consider you one of the smartest and brightest people in the world. Oh, thank you kindly. And who does your dental work? You do. See? <laughs> my idea originally, but now I don't like it. Why not? Well, there's no funny way to get into it. I don't know. Let's throw it out. Yeah, I admit it's rotten, but we ought to put it down on paper. Why? So we got something to tear up? <laughs> Look, it's an easy way to get into it. Alan goes to a concert and he got a piece of candy. Now, it's very quiet. He don't know he got a cavity in his tooth. He takes one bite in the candy. Oh! Let's have a yell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then he stands up and he says, I just broke a tooth of their professor philosophy in the house. And some guy stands up and says, if you just broke a tooth, why do you need a professor philosophy? And Alan says, because I just broke a wisdom tooth. <laughs> hey, good question. Then we go right into a dentist routine. Good, good. Uh, I, I still don't know about it. D no, look, no, no toothache sketch. Why? What's funny here in a toothache? Well, I don't know. People get squeamish when you when you do that kind of pain for them. We can do a sketch about pain, but let's do something funnier than a toothache. I think toothaches are very funny. What's funnier than that? An itch. A tooth itch? <laughs> no, no. Alan gets this itch right in the middle of his back, and he can't scratch it. Hey, yeah, that could be good. Huh? Say, say that he's a concert pianist. Yeah, see? yeah. Right in the middle of the recital, he gets that itch right between his good, shoulder blades. Good, good, good. Do, yeah, do, do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. and he tries to help him out. Toothache and an itch. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that would work. Oh! Oh! oh. There he is! Right there! Put his back! Oh, back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Don't tell me that isn't funny, boy! That's, that's, that's a laughter as a result of a sketch you've written for Alan. Yeah, yeah, it's a pain sketch. Hey, hey not that he knows what's funny, but let's show Blubber knows how he got into it. Wait a minute. Here you are, right here. 
Here, show him how you did the bit. Get in the bit with the sandwich. What bit? I broke my tooth on that sandwich. <laughs> you broke your teeth on white meat of chicken or white bread? <laughs> That's very amusing. I am not being amusing. I broke my tooth on that sandwich. Why didn't I listen to my dentist? <laughs> Alan does that kind of sketch very well, yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Either Rob is a fantastic actor or he's crying real tears. <laughs> You, you mean this isn't part of the sketch? Mm -hmm. No, but this bone is part of the chicken. Wow, he broke his tooth on a bone? Oh. I don't think he broke it on the mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are you in pain, Rob? Rob, is there anything we can do? Mm -hmm. No, wait, wait, I'll get something. Hey, hey, Rob, oh. try putting your head between your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Hey, that's good. That's ah! good. Oh, that's bad. Wait a minute, Rob. Here, take this. Oh. It'll relieve the pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you give him ice water? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! uh, leave it to him. He's the kind of guy see you drowning, he'll throw you an anchor. Oh. <laughs> Rob, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't even think about it being cold. Rob, Rob, shouldn't we call your dentist or something? Mm. You know. Yeah. You know, call Jerry yeah. and see if he can take me right okay, away. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot. He does a convention till Monday. Oh. Would you like to try my cousin Irving? He's across town, but he can help you. Is he any good? Is he good? Why, he's so good, he's lecturing at the, oh, the same convention. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sally, how about your dentist? Oh, he's wonderful. He's handsome, he's single, mm. and he's a wonderful dancer. How about teeth? Yeah, he's got teeth. Oh. <laughs> he's got pain, and you're making jokes. Well, he's too far anyway. He's in Connecticut. Well, what about Dr. Bardhoffen? Alan and I both use him. I'll call Marge. Hey, hey Rob, isn't there something I can do? Mama! Oh, Sally, there's a dropper. What do we do? Well, I think he'd appreciate it if he took the chair off his foot. Right, Rob? Yeah. Oh. Come on, come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Come on. I'll take you. Come on. But I'll get you oh, Well, it looks fine, darling. It really does. Well, I only tell you I'm ready to Monday anyway. What'd you say? I said it's only, it's only temporary. He's going to finish on Monday. Temporary? It looks permanent. Boy, it does, doesn't it? You know something, honey? I hate to admit it, but... This dentist is a whiz. You like him better than Jerry? Well, oh, no, no, Jerry's a good dentist. I have nothing against his work at all. I mean, that's the difference, you see? One of them is a worker, the other one is an artist. Well, what makes you think he's an artist? Well, he's got his wall covered with his own paintings. He plays a violin. <laughs> While he's working on your teeth? No, while the hygienist is working on your teeth. I tell you, honey, he's an artist. Well, that may be, darling, but the artist is a stranger and the worker is a friend. Oh, don't think I wasn't suffering a guilty conscience the whole time I was sitting in that chair. If Jerry knew that his neighbor was getting his teeth worked on by some other dentist, I think he'd probably die. Oh, darling, I don't think so. After all, this was an emergency. Jerry was out of town and there was nothing else you could do. He'll oh, understand. Yeah. I know he'll understand about the emergency, but I'm just wondering if he's going to understand about this other one. What other one? That one. Did he do that, too? Yeah. It needed doing, but I could easily have waited for Jerry. Well, why didn't you? Well, I don't know. I was sitting there in the chair with my big mouth open. I thought I might as well let him drill away. And that's why you have a guilty conscience. Well, yeah, honey, wouldn't you? I mean, after all, Jerry's not only my neighbor, he's my friend. And he was my dentist. Was your dentist? Well, yeah, honey. How can I go sit in his chair now and let him look in my mouth? You'll see those two strange teeth in there. He's going to be hurt. <laughs> Go to my own dentist, and Jerry doesn't seem hurt about that. Well, that's because he knows you've been going to him since you were a teenager. Besides that, he's your uncle. Oh, <laughs> Professional men aren't petty about things like that. Oh. I mean, after all, my uncle isn't upset that you and Rich go to Jerry. Well, of course not, but you know Jerry, he's sensitive. He thinks he's the best dentist in the whole world. Well, he is good. Honey, I don't know what to do. Jerry's due back here money. He's expecting me over there for a checkup. Well, the only thing to do is just go to him and tell him. Tell him I went to another dentist? You like tell him I'm not his friend anymore. You, you didn't uh, tell uh, Millie that I busted the tooth, did you? No. Why? Well, I'm thinking maybe I, we could kind of sound her out, see how maybe she thought Jerry would react to this. All right, I'll ask her over for coffee tonight. Yeah, good. No, wait a minute. Instead of inviting her over for coffee, let's pack up and move away. <laughs> Butter cookie? Can I have two? You can have two and a half if you wish. Oh, goody, I get so hungry when Jerry's away. Uh, Mill, uh, how, uh, how, when's Jerry, when's Jerry due back? Uh, Sunday night. He's got a lot of patients due in on Monday. 
Oh, good, good. What's good? Well, I mean, it's it's, uh, it's good that he's got an awful lot of patience. He's he's uh, got a fine practice there. Yeah, he? well, why not? He's only the best dentist in the civilized world. Yeah, he sure he sure is. <laughs> Mel, uh, how 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 does a, a guy like uh, like uh, Jerry feel when uh, you know when he who is a good dentist and uh, when say a friend or or a neighbor or uh, somebody like that who. Knows how great uh, you know a dentist is, but he who, who doesn't uh, use his serv service. You know, you know what I mean. Rob, you don't have to be uncomfortable with me. I know exactly what you're talking about. Is, is there any more coffee? In, uh, oh, there's that coffee. I wanted some more. I've got coffee. <laughs> I don't, th I don't think you, you uh, know what I mean. Rob, you don't have to play coy with me. I know exactly what you're getting at. You do. How could you? Well, you want to know if Jerry's upset because Laura doesn't go to him for her dental work, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I meant that. Uh, is he? Oh, heavens no. He knew Laura had a dentist long before we all met. So it doesn't upset him if a friend goes to another dentist? Oh, of course not. Now, he'd be very upset if you left your dentist and went to him just because we're friends. I mean, Jerry believes you should go to a dentist because you have confidence in him, mm. not because he's a friend or a relative. Well, I wouldn't go to my uncle if I weren't happy with him. Well, of course you wouldn't. No, you know, Jerry may make a lot of noise about how good he is, but he understands the kind of loyalty people have for their dentists. I mean, just like your uncle understands the kind of loyalty that Rob has for Jerry. Now, Rob, you wouldn't leave Jerry and go to Laura's uncle. <laughs> no, like, well, I wouldn't go to Laura's uncle. Uncle's. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't leave Jerry to go to, to... I wouldn't leave Laura to go to Jerry's uncle. No, uh, I wouldn't go... To, <laughs> I, know, well, I, I know what you mean there, Mill. <laughs> yeah. You don't leave the best dentist in the world. Even for an uncle, you don't leave him. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> so, uh, nobody ever left him? Oh, they don't leave Jerry unless they pack up and move away. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess Jerry's the kind of guy who'd just move right after him anyway. <laughs> well, he would if he could. You know how loyal he is. Will you listen to me talking about that joker as if I liked him after that rat went to a convention and left me at home? That's, boy, well, that is rotten, isn't that rotten, boy, to do a thing like that? You know, just for that, I'll quit him. I'll quit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, listen, would you hate me if I took this coffee and ran? Jerry said he'd call me at 8 o'clock. Oh, sure, Millie, we understand. Okay, I'll bring the cup back tomorrow. Uh, good. While you're at it, bring back the other six, will you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Huh? Listen, is there anything you want me to tell Jerry? Yeah, you tell that... You tell him I want to quit him. That's like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what are your plans now, Jerry or Dr. Bardo? I wish I knew. Boy, as somebody once said, the man's home may be his castle, but very often his teeth are not his own. <laughs> Calm down any minute. Jerry's gonna walk right through that door. Oh, look, the silverware's all dirty. Let's call off the brunch. Oh, Rob, really? Look, Jerry's been back in town for a week now. You can't avoid him forever. Who's trying to avoid him forever? I'm simply trying to avoid him long enough so I can figure out a way to tell him about those strange inlays on his back molars. <laughs> Darling, those are your back molars. According to Jerry, my teeth are his teeth. <laughs> Honey, call him, tell him I don't feel well. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to our friends. Who is lying? I feel awful. <laughs> Why did I have to bust that tooth? Oh, there they are. Honey, what are we going to talk about? What do you mean, what are we going to talk well, about? Well, let's, let's pick some serious subjects, like famine and drought and pestilence. <laughs> Why? Well, I want to have to smile. <laughs> well, honey, you know how a dentist is. If a girl comes in a bikini, he looks at her teeth first. <laughs> you know, my great man, you... Hi, Hi Ron. Come on in. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's me, honey. New shaving lotion. Hi, uh, stranger. Well, I haven't seen you for a long time. Hey, uh, do you owe me some money or something? No, I've been very busy. How are you, Jerry? Fine, fine. <laughs> Enough of this small talk. Where's the food? It's in the kitchen. Look, why don't you two try to figure out how to save the world, and Millie and I will make mushroom omelets. Well, that seems fair. Should I put some onions in yours, Jerry? What, and ruin the effect of this great shaving lotion that I'm wearing? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Mm, boy, if you weren't married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, boy, that Millie. You know, for a wife, she's pretty cute. Yeah, she certainly is. Hey, does, uh, does she look cuter to you, too, or is it just that I've been away last week? Well, no, it's probably just that new dress she's wearing. <laughs> hey, Rob, I'm glad the girls are gone. I heard a couple of jokes at the convention. I gotta tell you. Come on, well, uh, sit Jerry, I, I, I don't think we ought to be telling any jokes, right? If I haven't you been reading the papers? What? What? Well, there's a lot of famine and drought and pestilence. <laughs> What's around? A lot of it going around, Jer. Hey, Rob, you're a funny guy. <laughs> uh, how you been, Jerry? Working yourself to death, I suppose. <laughs> I've been busier than a centipede's mother trying to diaper a baby while putting her shoes on. <laughs> I heard that one at the convention. Funny? <laughs> Rob, you're not laughing, Rob. Is there something wrong with your mouth? No. Well, no, I, I was, I was uh, uh, licking an envelope. I got a, one of a paper cut. Oh, that there. could be very painful. Let me have a look at no, it. No, it's just right, Jerry. No, you, you've been pretty busy, huh, Jerry? Oh, yeah, listen, it's really piling up on me, all that work. You know, since I went away to the convention, the patients have just piled up. Oh, gee, that's a, that's a great, uh, Jerry. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know something? Maybe, maybe you've got too many patients. Oh, well, that's the price you pay for being talented. Uh, true, that's that's true, but you oughtn't to be working that hard. You know, it's, it's your leisure time. I think it's unfair to a uh, million of kids. Can you come up with a solution? Well, I don't know. There, there might be one. I know what you're thinking. Hmm? Yeah, you're thinking I ought to bring in another man, a young dentist. Uh, well, that's, that's an idea, yeah. No, it would never work, Rob. Would you accept somebody else working on your teeth? Well, Jerry, if you, if you said, I mean, if, if, if it was... Yeah, yeah, you you say, but I can just hear you now. I can just hear you. Hey, Jerry, what's the matter? Getting too big to work on my teeth? No, Jerry, I'd never say that. I'd never... Boy, if, if, I, if I was as busy as you are, why, I can understand how you, how you might give up one or, or, or two of your patients. Why, why don't you consider that? Never. You, uh, you uh, wouldn't give up one of your patients? Well, not unless they uh, packed up and... Uh... And moved away. Right. <laughs> My patients come to me because they have faith in me. They're loyal. How do you think they'd feel if I suddenly told them I was too busy to treat them? Listen, loyalty works two ways, Rob. You know that. Uh, yeah. Hey, Rob, what's the matter with you, really? Uh, I mean, is something bothering you besides that cut on your lip? What? No, what, what could be bothering me, Jerry? Well, I don't know. Ordinarily, you're a very smiley guy. I haven't seen you smile once since I came in. Well, Jerry, it's, the, it's famine and drought and pestilence. <laughs> I, I just don't see any particular reason for any smiling, Jerry. That's all. Hey, you girls, how's that food coming out there? Right through the door. Oh. Why don't you fill a start on this? The rest will be ready in a minute. Well, oh, fine. Say. say, Rob, listen, if you really want to help out a friend, you can do me a big favor. Oh, what's that, Jerry? Uh, well, you know, your checkup, your regular checkup is way overdue. Remember I told you it would be the next Monday night? Monday? That's so, Monday. Well, uh, you want me to cancel it? I'll be happy to cancel it if you want to. Well, as a matter of fact, I'd appreciate it. You, huh? You would? I mean, you would? Listen, buddy, you consider it cancel. Whatever you want. It's done. Can I butter your roll or something? No, no, thanks. But, but you can let me check on your teeth this afternoon. Huh? Well, I'd like to catch up on some of my backlog. You, you, uh, you want to check them now? Yeah, well, if you're not planning anything, we could go right next door and I'll, I'll, I'll examine your teeth, x-ray them, and clean them. Well, uh, no, uh, Jer, it's your day off. It's your day off. No, sir, it's your leisure day. I'm done. No, well, listen, Rob, I'll work leisurely. I'll put on a new comedy album I just got. What do you say, Rob? Right after brunch. You'll really help me out, huh? Uh, no, Jer, I'd look, I'd, lo I'd, lo I'd love to help you out. But I, I, uh, I think uh, Laura's planning something a little later. Boots on! Honey. Uh, Laura, uh, were you planning anything for today? Not a thing, Jerry. Wonderful. Well, what did you have in mind? Because I can set my hair in about five minutes. Now, relax, honey. I just thought as long as Rob and Laura had nothing planned, I'd get Rob in the chair and catch up on my work. Oh, that's awfully nice of you, Rob. Isn't that nice of Rob? Rob's so nice. <laughs> have your teeth there, Rob. Any sensitivities? Well, no, not at the moment. No, I mean, they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. I don't know why you're checking them. They're so good. <laughs> well, we'll check them just to make sure. I probably did too good a job on you last time. Uh -huh. All right. Open. Yeah, check the top first. <laughs> they, look, they look fine, Rob. They're not fine. They're not fine. They're, they're very sensitive. They want to eat anything. Look, this eye tube. When I touch it. Ooh, ooh. Look at it. When I touch it, they're, they're very sensitive. You better x ray them. Take your time. Yeah, x ray them, will you? All right. <laughs> Rob, I'll check them all. You know, you're very funny, but let's play later, huh? Yeah. All right, let me see now. Oh, these look pretty solid here. Oh, good. Oh, Thanks, Rob. Jerry. I'm not through with you. Will you open your mouth, please? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Wider. That's it. Nothing's anything wrong here. 
Well, we'll x-ray him just to make sure. Okay, we can do it Monday, huh? And I'll come back now, Wait Monday, a minute, huh? Rob, wait a minute. You don't want to open your mouth, and I know why. Why? You're using me to work out a dental sketch for your show. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you, you found me out, didn't you, Jerry? Yeah, now, come on, Rob, sit down. Let, sit down. Let me check your bicuspid. What, what, what bicuspids? Is that, mm -hmm. is, that my, is that my molars? Your back teeth. My, my bicuspids are fine, but screw them, Jerry. I, I've never been so good in my bicuspids. Not in years. They're... Come on, Rob, enough of that. What's with you? All right. Well, all right, I'll tell you what's with me. Jerry? Jerry? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a louse. A louse? Yeah, I don't know what else you'd call a person to do the disloyal and rotten thing I did. What disloyal and rotten thing? Would you like to see what rotten and disloyal... I'll show you what rotten and disloyal thing I did. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! What are you trying to show me? <laughs> what? I said I went to another dentist letting him work on my teeth. You what? You heard me. I went to another dentist and I let him work on my teeth. Now don't tell me I'm not a louse. Well, why did you feel you had to go to another dentist? Oh, well, I broke this tooth there and I went to another guy and let him work on it. Oh, I see. When did this happen? Well, well, you, well, you're out of town. Boy, oh boy, when the cat's away. <laughs> now, don't tell me that's not disloyal. Well, there's nothing so disloyal about attending to an emergency. That's your opinion of it, Jerry. Boy, that's not the way I look at it. That was disloyal. All I know is I went to a strange guy and I let him work on my, on your teeth. Rob, it was an accident. What accident? I broke a little tooth. What's that? You needed immediate help. Oh, I could have waited, Jerry. You, you, you had no choice, Rob. I had plenty of... I could have suffered a little till you got back. Boy, at least the least thing you can do it for a friend. That was an emergency. Uh, okay, okay. That was an emergency. But how did I cut my there till I let him work on that? You let him work on another tooth? Yeah, now you see what I mean. You see what cut... Rip them out, Jerry. All of them. Just rip them out. <laughs> everything out of my mouth. Just leave me my tongue so I can curse myself, Jerry. <laughs> All right, Rob. Now, just take it easy. Let me have a look at him. Just take it easy. I heard they're, they're killing me. Well, Jerry, they're killing, killing me. Jerry. They're killing me. Killing you. Why, they look fine. Yeah. That's beautiful work. Yeah, Rob. that's just exactly what's killing me. What, do you think that I'd even consider going to a dentist just because he's a violinist? A violinist? Yeah, he's a great violinist. I'm never going to him again, Jerry. I mean, never. There's a lot of other things in life more important than a great dental violinist. <laughs> rip, Jerry, rip them out. All of them. Rob, right, close your mouth. I'm not going to touch those teeth. Well, I don't, I don't blame you, Jerry. You're mad because I let another dentist touch you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to touch him because the dentist who prepared the tooth for the inlay should finish the job. D forget that. No, I want you to finish him. You let me explain to Dr. Bardoffin. Bardoffin? Oh, he's a fine man. Yeah, so what? I still shouldn't have gone to him. That's all. Well, listen, Rob, you did the only thing you could in an emergency. I'm just glad you went to him and had your teeth fixed. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You mean you're, uh, you're not mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I mean, I would be, but you're so busy being mad at yourself that I can't. Well, <laughs> you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. Well, you, do you like Dr. Bardhoffen? I think he's a great dentist, but I wouldn't go to him. Well, why, why wouldn't you? I can't stand violin music. <laughs> Jerry, you know something? You're a great guy. You know, I'll tell you one thing. From now on, every tooth in my whole head, in my whole body, belongs to you. <laughs> Put it there. Okay, Rob, it's all right. Gee, I, I feel like I ought to buy something. That's all right. No, I'm not. You want to draw my teeth? Get it. Oh, I'm, I'm a little right. extra here. No, come on. Yeah. You may turn the timer over. Right. Oh, I see a leansy five-letter word right away. F-R-E-E-P, freep. Freep? What's that? That's a baby froep. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. They don't call me champ for nothing. Here's a word for you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy's two words, and you don't have a B. Rob, what is it? 
I think our champ just chomped out a temporary inlay, right? Mm. Jerry, can you do it? Sure, sure. Rob, if you want to come next door, I'll cement it in for you. Even if it's Dr. Bargehoffen's inlay? Oh, he'd do the same for a patient of mine. He would. It would. Jerry's a great guy. I know, I know. He's got a great record collection, and he's a great violinist. That's right, Jerry, but you've got something he's never going to have. An office next door? That's it. <laughs>